We are used to looking at quadratic equations that are y is equal to something x squared, okay? But that doesn't always have to be the case. We could end up dealing with x is equal to something y squared, okay? And what that really does is take a parabola, which we are used to looking at is up and down, so either straight, you know, coefficient of positive a or negative a, and what it does instead is makes it a sideways parabola, okay? So you're dealing with something like this or something like this, okay? The trick is, is that this isn't actually a function. Okay? Remember that in order to have a function, we have to have one y for every x. So if you look at something like this, that's not going to hold. So this isn't a function, but that doesn't mean we can't still try to graph it. Okay? So what we can do is, in order to graph it, think about what the relating equation is for y equals. Okay? So I have right here x is equal to y plus 1 squared minus 3. Think about the relating, video, the relating graph y is equal to x plus 1 squared minus 3, and think about what each component does. The minus 3 moves the graph down 3, okay? So that is taking the y value down 3. If we are dealing with the x equals, it's going to do the same thing. Instead of taking the y down 3, it takes the x down 3. So what you're doing is making the x 3 units smaller. So we would take our vertex and move it back Three. Okay. Similarly to the x plus 1, what this is going to do is move our x coordinate of our vertex back 1 for a vertical parabola. It's going to move the y back 1 on a side-to-side -side parabola. And by taking the y back 1, what that means is making the y 1 smaller or moving it down 1. Okay. We don't have any coefficients to make this any steeper or wider, so what we found out is our vertex is back 3, 1, 2, 3, and down 1. Okay. Our coefficient is positive, which tells us we have a, in this case, an upward facing parabola where our y values are going to be getting bigger. Here we have no coefficient, which then tells us our, the opposite, our x coordinates are going to be getting bigger. So we're dealing with negative x's, and it's going to be going this way. We have something like this. Again, you could always plug in a point if you want to get a little bit more precise graph. You know, here we're dealing with negative 1, so I would end up probably plugging in y is equal to 0 to get an extra point. Okay, but what we've done is basically graphed a horizontal parabola by finding the vertex pretty much the exact same way as we did before, but just switching our x and our y's. Okay, and just a note, again, this is not a function, okay? The two pieces together, we could break it up and look at either just the top or just the bottom, and those are functions, but together, when we're dealing with an entire sideways parabola, it's not a function.